Somebody once said, when I run, I feel God's pleasure. That's a concept not everyone understands, but I do. When I run, I run with purpose, which is to worship God, who built my body and calls it a temple. The reason for sport is to be an example, that everything I do is for the sake of Jesus' name. But sometimes the world tries to offer me fame. Sometimes I get caught up in the hype. Provide a show for the fans. Isn't that all right? More spectators watching means added adrenaline. Fueled by their passion, my energy I cash in. The more faces in the crowd, the more pressure to perform. But it elevates my game, so I rely on this norm. But what will I do when no one is watching? Does my worship suffer from social distancing? Will I allow this COVID-19 thing to steal my focus and intensity? To be fair, this pandemic attacked us, but as the games resume, they feel more like practice. What's the point? Some might say. It's the fans for whom I play. Yeah, the fans make the game fun, but as a Christian, I play for an audience of one. So when I step onto the field, I don't need to care if the stadium is full or there's nobody there because I play to worship. I don't need the fans' attendance. If the field is my sanctuary, I will feel God's presence. The stakes of competition are still the same with an eternal perspective that this is still just a game. I don't mean to say that you shouldn't play hard when it's only you and the field and God. Your effort should be noticed by your teammates and opponents. So be an example to them because in Jesus' name you play. Play with the freedom that you are loved always. When the stadium seats are empty, don't play like you don't care. In the midst of the stillness, ask God to meet you there. Audience of one, here's the point of the plot. Walk with God each moment of the day, spectators or not.